we're back. And we should probably stop in at the castle. Make sure you know, like, Gabriel hasn't called or anything. Not like he would, the bastard. Oh, a new scene! Hey, Hi. Gerda! Did you have a good time? Uh-huh. Anything new? Yes, you had a phone call. Oh. Really? A man named Professor Barkley. He said you had his number. I do. Thanks. <laughs> We're best of friends now. <sighs> All right, to the library. To the library! Do, 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 do. All right. Sit down, Gracie. No, you're not typing anything. You're going to be ringing Mr. Barclay. Da, 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 da. How did you even bring this card with you? That's my question. How did you know you would have to ring him? Will he be asleep in- Oh, he's actually awake now. Wait, it's daytime outside, but it's daytime outside here. Oh. Hi, Professor Barkley. It's Grace. Oh, good. Uh, I have a name for you. It's Herr Josef Dahlmeier. And uh, he specializes in Bavarian history. And uh, I think he's somewhere near you are. Herr Josef Dahlmeier. Great, got a number? Yeah, I do. It's uh, 4982-555-2234. Thanks a lot. Sorry about the bother. Uh, that's no bother. Uh, when are you coming back to school, Gracie? When I figure it out, I'll let you know. Well, be good. Yeah, sorry about creating a time paradox. This entire thing is a time paradox, though, so I suppose I can't complain. Time paradox. <laughs> yes, it really is. If you tried to map this game out, like, you know, how they interact with each other. Like, Gabriel sends letter. Letter goes back in time and Gabriel and Grace receives it the morning after. Or the morning before he wrote it. And it's that whole, you know, the whole clusterfuck of her, um, travelling from New Orleans to, <laughs> to Germany. To getting around Germany for, like, a day. At least. Oh, keys. Like, you seriously cannot map this thing out without it, with it making sense. It is terribly timed and, like, just the facts. Bare facts. They've got a good game and it's just a bare... Oh, I forgot to ring that dude. Ha! Sorry. I got away with myself. Sorry, Gerda. I meant to also speak to you. I got a bit ahead of myself. No, go back! I'm not sure what other- No, you're not trying to read something, you're trying to- Yes. Ring. Hello? Hello? Sind Sie Herr Josef Dahlmeier? Yeah. You must be Grace Nakamura, the American history student. Ah! Yes. He speaks perfect English. I hear English. you're interested in Ludwig II. Very. Good. There's something I want to show you. Drive to Berg on Starnberger Sea. Meet me at the Memorial Chapel. All right. Thank you. Oh, wait. Uh, was there anything you wanted me to look into before we meet? Well, I was hoping you knew something about someone called the Black Wolf. He was a contemporary of Ludwig's. He lived in Prussia, I think, and he was well-connected. Uh, never heard of him, but I'll check. See you there. Thanks. Bye. What sort of specialist are you if you know nothing? You know nothing! Sorry, Spike. I woke the cat up saying that. And he's currently wondering why he knows nothing. Hey, Gerda! Gerda? Yes? 
We're best of friends now. Let's look at us smile. Have you heard from Gabriel at all? No, Grace. I'm sorry. That's alright. Never mind. We'll kill him afterwards. Let's go to the Wagner Museum first. He doesn't need to see us straight away, that dude. Grüß Gott. Guten Tag. Is das die Wagner Museum? Yeah. You're an American, aren't you? Yes. I'm afraid the house is closed this time of year. It will be open next month. Crap. <laughs> you are interested in Wagner? Very interested. Very recently very interested. Oh. Yeah. Look at my piercing. Most of the house is closed for cleaning, but uh, a few rooms are open. Oh. I shouldn't let you, probably, but... Uh, I like you. If it is only you, you are alone, aren't you? Endlessly. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go out on the date. Come in and look around. That's very generous. Um, what do I owe you? Georg. Georg Immerding. There's only a few displays. Besides, I wouldn't be much of a um, shining knight if I charge you. Thanks, Georg. My name is Grace. Hello. Hello. Have a good time. Ah. No doubt we'll see you suddenly at our house the next day. Oh yes, it came with a date. Did you not know? Wagner's piano. On this piano, the maestro composed his later operas, including the Wagner's. Ring. No, you don't need to say it. I said it for you. Richard Wagner. I never would have guessed that if you had not said that. And of course... Franz Liszt. Thank you. The Death of Wagner. Aww. On Ash Wednesday, 1883, Wagner suffered a heart attack in a Venetian gondola on the way to San Michel. His wife and the gondolier carried him into a church where he regained consciousness. Wagner died four days later on this sofa. Ew. I'm sorry, that's just a bit creepy. Like, of all the things to show, hopefully they cleaned it. That's all I'm saying. Wagner's desk, exactly as it was on the day he died. Well, if it's exactly the way it was... It looks rather simple, considering the grandiose stuff Wagner composed here. Yes, and who knows, maybe it still... It looks rather simple. Maybe it still contains things. Wait. Is there something on the table? There is. It's a letter from a Monsieur Beaujolais dated September 1881. Looks like he's discussing acoustics and sound waves and crystals. Wasn't Wagner's Bayreuth theater already built? Why would Wagner be worrying about acoustics? That is a good question. It looks like an architectural drawing of a theater. The Wittelsbacher Theater, München. Every square inch is measured. Hmm, intriguing. In here. Oh wait, we went on. No, wait, wait, back, back. We went on. Death mask! Wagner's death mask. He was not a looker at that point either. Painting? No? Okay, in here. Look! Ludwig's death mask, he gets around! A portrait given as a gift from Ludwig to Wagner. Oh, he was slightly stuck up, wasn't he? June 10th, 1881, Munich residence. Great friend. I am writing to you in the middle of the night. My blood is pounding too wildly for sleep. Tonight's performance, how can I describe it? I am unsure whether to be terrified or thrilled. Perhaps I even feel... hopeful? If it is hope, you have given it to me, my friend, for the first time in years. We must speak. Something happened during the music tonight, but I must have your absolute confidence. As you love me, come at once. Your devoted king, Ludwig. Oh, weird. Anyway, we're out of time, so we'll see you in the next video. Bye!